and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and Max. Max and Ruby. Ruby and her little brother Max. The East Bunny Hop Round the World Fair really is like going around the world, all in one day. It sure is, Ruby. I want to remember it forever. Me too. That's why I got this Polynesian doll. She's my souvenir from the fair. Ah, oh, she's beautiful. <gasps> We should get a souvenir, too, don't you think, Max? Ooh. A souvenir is something you bring home to help you remember a special place you visited. See? Every time Louise looks at this beautiful doll, she'll remember her day at the Round the World Fair. Now, where should we look for the perfect souvenir? Wherever you look, you'd better hurry. The fair's almost over and there aren't many souvenirs left. <gasps> You're right, Max. The Mexican booth is a great place to look for a souvenir. Bye, Louise. Good luck, Ruby. Look at this beautiful doll in her Mexican costume. She's perfect, isn't she, Max? Is that blindfold on tight enough, Roger? Uh-huh. Roger's going to try to hit this piñata. With this stick, right, Roger? Uh-huh. A piñata is a very popular Mexican tradition at birthdays and fiestas. It's full of treats. If he hits the piñata and breaks it open, by the time the music stops, he gets all the treats and prizes that fall <gasps> on the ground. Right, Roger? Uh-huh. Piñata! 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 <laughs> Ready, Roger? Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on, Roger. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. You can do it. <laughs> oh. Nice try, Roger. You came really close to hitting that piñata, Roger. Uh-huh. Piñata! Sure you can give it a try. But first, let's buy a souvenir. Enjoy your doll! Oh, no. Do you have another Mexican doll, Rosalinda? Sorry, Ruby. That was my last one. Oh. Well, there must be other great souvenirs at the fair. Come on, Max. Katie's Japanese booth has loads of souvenirs. <gasps> Look! Ooh! What do you think of her? You're right. She's not quite as perfect as the Mexican doll, but she does have a pretty dress. It's called a kimono, Ruby. And the belt that wraps around it is an obi. She'd like my other dollies, don't you, Max? Pinata! Uh, sorry, Katie. Gotta go. I thought Ruby wanted that doll, but I guess not. That's called a kimono. Whoa! Missed again. Pinata! You can try it as soon as we buy our souvenir. We have to hurry before somebody else buys her. <sighs> She's almost as nice as the Mexican doll we wanted, so I'll be just as happy
happy to get... <gasps> Katie, where's that doll in the kimono? Oh, Ruby, I'm sorry. I just sold it. I would have kept it for you if I'd known you'd wanted it. That's okay. Maybe you've got another doll that's just as nice? Oh, I don't have any other dolls. But last time I looked, Candy had some nice ones at her booth. <gasps> Thanks, Katie. Pinata! Look at these pretty dresses. This is called a sari. It's made from one piece of cloth. See, you wrap it around your waist and drape it over your shoulder. The colors are so beautiful. I don't know how we're going to choose just one. Hmm. I think the red one. What do you think, Max? Pinata! Oh, no. Pinata! Don't worry. You'll be able to take a turn in a second. Candy's got three dolls to choose from. <gasps> <laughs> there were three to choose from. Pinata? You know, Max, it was such a fun day. I think we'll remember it even without a souvenir. So let's go see if you can break open that pinata. <laughs> well, Roger, you had your chance. I guess it's time for someone else to give it a try. Uh -huh. Hi, Ruby. Did you find a souvenir? No. I guess we'll just have to remember how much fun the fair was without a souvenir. Ready, Max? <laughs> Come on, Max. You can do it. Go, Max! Whoa! Nice moves! You got it, Max! your souvenir after all, Ruby. Aw, oh, thanks, Max. She's exactly what I wanted. I would have found her earlier if I just let Max hit his pinata. Ruby's movie night. It won't be too long till movie night starts. We've never watched a movie outdoors under the stars. It's going to be a night to remember. Oh, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn! Not yet. No popcorn till movie night. Popcorn. What else can I do to get ready? You could get out the ingredients for my special lemonade. You remember what they are. Of course. Lemons, sugar, water, ice. And my special ingredient? Mint! for movie night. We have to wait until the guests have arrived and the movie starts. Why don't you come outside and help Grandma and me set things up? Hmm. I put out everything for your lemonade in the kitchen. Popcorn. Thanks, Ruby. And I've just finished getting the projector all set up. Here, I'll show you how it works. You see this little knob here? 
Uh huh. If you turn it this way, the light goes on like this. <gasps> Max, what are you doing? Popcorn. It's not movie night yet. We have to wait till Louise gets here. Well, I better get inside and finish making my special movie night lemonade. Okay, and I'll put the sheet up for the movie screen. And I don't want to see you getting into that popcorn till we're all watching the movie, okay? <sighs> This sheet will make a perfect screen to watch the movie on. Don't you think, Max? Max! <laughs> oh, little brothers. Popcorn? You can't have the popcorn yet. Louise hasn't arrived and there's still lots to do. Why don't you play in the sandbox while I finish setting up? Thanks, Max. Popcorn. There. That's going to be perfect. Hmm. It would be perfect if it wasn't so crooked. Much better. <laughs> Popcorn. Huh, oh, I thought I fixed that. Oh well. for later. Popcorn? Why don't you play over there until it's time to watch the movie? Now I'll get this sheet back up where it's supposed to be. As Louise gets here, movie night can begin. Oh, be careful, can't sit up slug. You're going to be watching the movie sideways if we don't straighten you up. <laughs> Popcorn. some technical difficulties and we can't watch the movie I wanted to show. <sighs> I wanted this to be a night to remember. It will be. Huh? Look, Ruby. <laughs> Making a shadow play is even more fun than watching a movie. <laughs> a shadow play. That is a fun idea. And then, little brother Max sneaked behind his big sister's back with his bow and arrow. Oh, oh that's funny. Oh. But Ruby couldn't stop the arrow. 
and it broke the film in half. So Ruby and her little brother Max made a shadow play for their grandma instead. The end. Bravo! Did you really like it, Grandma? I loved it. The only thing that could make it better is a nice big bowl of popcorn. Dr. Ruby. We can't sit up, Slug. Dr. Ruby will have you sitting up in no time. There. All better. <laughs> and Sally swims a lot. You say you're having trouble hearing? Here's your problem. You forgot to take your earplugs out after you went swimming. Is that better? <coughs> Having dollies as patients is fun, but I know what would be even better. A real live patient. Someone like... Max? Hmm, he must have gone inside. Phew. Grandma! Hello, Ruby. Or should I say, Dr. Ruby? That's right. And how are you feeling today? I'm fit as a fiddle. That's too bad. <laughs> but I do feel a bit of a tickle in my throat. You do? That's great! I mean, <clears throat> this could be serious. It's a good thing you came to Dr. Ruby. Come right this way. Coughs and sneezes spread diseases. You're going to need a full checkup. Whatever you say, Dr. Ruby. Say, ah. Uh... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hmm. Pulse? Normal. Heartbeat? Like clockwork. Oh, that's good news. Hmm. Dr. Ruby says what you need is a good dose of milk and cookies until you feel all better. <gasps> cookies. Cookies? Sorry, Max. Cookies are only for patients to help them feel all better. No measles, no chicken pox, no cookies. <sighs> Here you go, Grandma. Milk and cookies. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, I didn't write down your symptoms. How will I know when you get better? Hmm. Now, where did I put my clipboard and marker? There's my clipboard. But where's my red marker? Cookies? Aha! Uh -huh. Thanks for finding my marker. Oh, dear. You got red ink all over your hands. You even have dots on your face. How did you manage to do that? It almost looks like you have the measles. <gasps> Luckily, Dr. Ruby always carries wipes. And it's washable marker. Here, you finish cleaning yourself while I check on my patient. Cookies. Cookies are only for patients to help them feel all better. Now, how's that tickle in your throat, Grandma? 
Much better. Thank you, Dr. Ruby. Good. But I think you'd better rest up a little longer just to make sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, Dr. Ruby. Uh-oh. Sounds like I needed an emergency right away. No time to lie down on the job. Red Rubber Elephant has bruised his trunk, and Harry Tarantula has broken legs. All six of them. I need you to get these patients to the hospital. Stat. Is there anything I can do? Don't worry. Dr. Ruby is in control. And it looks like you've got a good assistant there, too. Luckily, there were no serious injuries. But I'm going to need more milk and cookies. I could go and get those for your other patients, Dr. Ruby. Thanks, Grandma. Oh, <laughs> okay. Cookies? Uh-uh, Max. Cookies are for patients to help them feel all better. another time. Right now, I need all my bandages for my patients. Six legs is a lot. Dr. Ruby, I think you might like to look at Max's elbow. <sighs> Max, you scraped your elbow. That needs one of my extra special bandages. Dr. Ruby, well done. My first real patient. How do you feel? Ooh. All better. 